Hey everybody, Blake at Toy Tech here with another Tech Tip Tuesday. Uh, today we're going to show you how to measure your ride height and measure your down travel. So to do so, you're going to need a tape measure, a floor jack, or a two post lift if you have access to one. Um, we take these measurements to calculate any adjustments that need to be made after installing the lift if you need to compensate for driver side lean uh, or anything like that. So to do so, we're going to start in the center of our wheel hub and go straight up to the fender line. So we go from the center of the wheel hub uh, because no matter what size your tire is, whether you're parked on a gravel road, anything like that, you're getting a true center of the axle to the fender measurement and there's no factors there. So now we'll install our lift, um, measure afterwards, and then we'll check our down travel. Okay. All right, everybody, and we're back. We've got our lift installed. Uh, everything looks great. Uh, now we need to take some measurements to see if we are level side to side, front to back, and then we can adjust our coilovers according to those numbers. Um, so we started out with 20 to 21 inches of uh, stock ride height in the front. Um, so we'll measure that. So what we need to do is take this measurement in all four corners to see where we are, if we still have a little bit of rake or not, or if we're perfectly level. Um, so now what we can check is our down travel. Down travel is going to be how much travel your suspension has from resting position to a fully extended position. And we like to get about two inches out of that for the best ride quality. So let's check that. So we know what we're sitting at now, 24 inches, so we'll lift the truck. Until the wheel is off the ground and then we'll take that same center to hub to fender measurement again. Two inches of down travel. That's perfect. This thing's going to ride great. Um, so yeah, that's how you take your ride height measurements.